It's some amazing news. The Minnesota Fighting Vikings have added one of these cornerbacks from this picture. Just uh, not so much. Although, uh, we, we've talked about this before, but Patrick Sertain has a necklace uh, of a PS2 controller, PlayStation 2, because he's PS2. That's amazing. Anyways, Vikings signed cornerback Nate Harrison coming over from the Denver Broncos. Lots of experience at Donatel and the scheme and the system they're going to be implementing. So let's talk about the new Vikings cornerback today. Background, 27 years young, uh, 6 foot, a buck 95, was a 2017 fifth round pick out of Temple by the Colts. Ooh, Temple, Harrison hand, go Owls. Ooh. That's right. Uh, was actually a starter for the Colts over his first two seasons in the league. 19 career total starts. Was traded to the Jets in 2019 for a six-round pick. Spent the last two years in Denver with Ed Donatel. Uh, last year was on and off the practice squad. 215 uh, d- total defensive snaps over the last two seasons. Primarily uh, played slot cornerback in Denver. Uh, has worked uh, quite a bit on the outside with the Colts, especially as Kenny Moore really came into his own as one of the better uh, slot cornerbacks in the league. Also has played a little bit of safety as well. So you really have have a sort of a jack of all trades master of none plus he's played a ton of special teams as well overall i think that he is a very solid depth signing uh but if you're expecting him to come in and be a starter I, I i don't see that i think Shondon williams is going to have a grip on the slot cornerback position and I think the vikings will still be open-minded when it comes to the rest of free agency they still have cap space as well as certainly the draft uh if and when one well, the top three cornerbacks gets there uh, Sauce Gardner probably won't be at 12. Maybe Stingley will be there. Durante Jones, the former LSU defense coordinator, will have some insight on him. Trent McDuffie, I love, out of Washington. Uh, Booth Jr. out of Clemson is certainly in the mix as well. Uh, but I, I, I don't know. I don't think that Nate Harrison is going to be that guy. But I, I think that he is a very valuable piece on the back end of the 53. Love the versatility. Love the special teams prowess as well. I think the experience with Ed Donatel is crucial. And the numbers aren't out yet on his contract. It's likely going to be league minimum. Maybe not even any signing bonus or nothing guaranteed. It wouldn't shock me at all. So that if the Vikings do uh, continue to load up in the draft at cornerback and he's not one of the top five or six guys on the rooster, uh, maybe they say, deuces but uh, you know all these signings uh, oh oh why are they signing this guy he's trash please it's a 90 man roster man uh, you're not going to have all pros as your 89th and 90th dude on the rooster you do need guys like this uh, guys that can compete guys have been starter in the league before love the versatility and as well as if he does make the roster and he's on the 53 and is on the game day 46 he's the guy that you want out there with the versatility as well as special teams so every brick in the foundation matters so i think that nate harrison uh, is a very solid addition at this stage like fourth fifth wave free agency especially at that price so uh, we'll, we'll see. Uh, but your thoughts uh, on our thoughts. Viking sign, cornerback uh, Nate Hairston coming over from the Broncos. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Venmo, support the work. Put a little something in there. But until next time, Skull, production value.